really excited to be able to work on a real CNC machine, but one that's not intimidating either. You know? Well, I think it was it was a great that your machines came along when they did because it was perfect timing. Uh, before we had some little tiny, what are called toy CNCs, you know, for little model maker kinds of things. They were really important. We couldn't work on them. Uh, we machined that on those put up CNCs that took like an, an hour or two. And now with Dormax, we can just do them in like 20 minutes. So that was, that was a really good thing. When we researched and found that we could affordably get six machines for this lab and several machines for our other lab that the students could use, um, you know, we have another large, very expensive CNC machine that our experienced machinists can use. We wanted something the students could use, something that was approachable, something that was affordable, um, again, something they might see out in industry, though, you know, and, and particularly in a prototyping, rapid design kind of environment, we wanted to give them that full, hands-on range of real-world experience. I know that after having access to these for two years, I definitely don't want to go back to a point where I don't have this kind of technology to be able to just think of something, quickly sketch it up, draw it out, and then go out and make it, have it in my hand in a few hours. This particular course here that you see all the Tormach machines in is one of our technical electives that both our senior undergraduates and our graduate students take. And it's really um, a combined design and manufacturing course. We do work in SOLIDWORKS and we create 3D models and then the students learn how to machine them. We also do 3D printing, we do some injection molding. So we're really trying to give people, um, you know, kind of both ends of the equation. How do you design it? How do you create it in SOLIDWORKS? And then how do you make what you've designed and created? So that um, not only do they know how to design things, they know how to make them and design them so that they can be made. It's really important yes, for engineers. Yeah. I know a number of students who basically ask us, like, what's the price of this? Uh, would, be a, would I be able to run this in my garage and all that? And the price is not, uh, it's not expensive at all, so it's like, I think the whole thing comes to around 10,000 bucks of tools and all. And that's another uh, area I think that uh, the students are interested in, I mean, that will bring in other people because of the price, so. You know, for people who haven't had a lot of hands-on experience, um, haven't really worked in an industrial setting, it's, it's just a really different concept um, sometimes for them to come in and understand you know, how the machine works. By the end of the semester, they're doing their own design and picking their own tools and their own processes and their own operations. That's, I think, what, what Tormar is doing really well. They, they make it approachable and easy because it's an interface that doesn't look cryptic. It doesn't look like it's something you need to have a lot of background to understand. Um, it looks like any other desktop app you'd be using. It's pretty easy. And a lot of, like, like just to do a tool change, it's not like buried in the machine somewhere. Like you can just look and open it and you know how to load your tool and nothing's super challenging to learn how to do initially. Everything you need and really nothing more is right in front of you. So it's never more than a couple clicks away and it's got good descriptions, good graphics to show you exactly what it is you're looking for. Like Kim was saying, you don't have to go which of these menus do I go through and which tab do I click? You're just going to offsets. There's a super clear table. There's a picture there that's showing you you're measuring your tools. And all you're entering is the name, the diameter, the length. That's all you need. There's nothing extra. And I think it just makes a lot of sense. So, um, Well, our students take one course in their sophomore year that's a required course um, where they do mostly manual machining. But we have one of the Tormox in that uh, machine shop so that they can use the um, engraving feature to go in and do some engraving. So with this uh, we do many different labs because it's so easy to uh, chuck all the tools up in the Tormach pulling system and just change them out. Um, we use multiple tools multiple times and you get a lot more comfortable and familiar with them and you learn a little bit more about speeds and feeds and depth of cut and passes. And once we started using Pathpilot, the students started learning even quicker. Plus, upgrading Pathpilot kind of eliminated some of the more common issues that we were seeing. Like, it's much harder to run it into one of its limits now, and you can't run it without doing ref X, Y, and Z. So, those have also been helpful. Um, primarily, where we use them more is again in this shop for our class, the technical elective course. 
but then we have them in our what's called our student shop, and that's actually a shop where it's staffed by students. We do have a, a supervisor in there as well who's a staff member, but students can go into that shop and they can use any of the equipment in there to machine anything. So a mechanical engineering student can just walk in there with a project for a class or even for personal use or for research use, and they can use the Tormox that are in there as well as the manual machine equipment that's in there to just do whatever they want to do. So that's what's really great is they can take this class, learn how to use the Tormox, and then they can go over into the student shop while they're here the rest of their undergraduate career or as a graduate student and use it over there for any project they want. So that's, we've got them pretty much everywhere. So they start with the sophomores and then they really get proficient, you know, in that senior technical elective and then they can just use them over in the student shop whenever they want to. Design intention is a big takeaway from this course. Uh, you start out with just SolidWorks, you start out following tutorials, and then later on you start to make parts yourself, and there are many different ways to make parts, so why would you make it one way or another? You work in groups, you get to see which parts you're going to need to change in the future, and how difficult it is to change certain features, especially while communicating that with other group members. So students get to see and try and fail at designing parts and and succeed. Yeah, and succeed. Yeah, so. So, yeah, these Tormark machines have just been amazing. And the students love them. I mean, they, their faces light up. You know, they get really excited to be able to work on a real CNC machine. But one that's not intimidating either. You know, it's the size, the, the software on it is really easy to use. And um, it just it really brings home all the concepts. It really builds student confidence in their abilities, and we're now, I'm now seeing people who have taken the course come back and say, oh, okay, I'm working on a capstone project. Could I come in and do some machining and use the Tormox so I can create this part? Um, so it's really starting to you know, permeate out into other courses and into other applications and the curriculum, which is really great. So, one of you give me a clap. Did you plan that? I hope you did. That's fantastic.